But what's more important is what we're doing with this. And look at this. Yeah, what are we going to do with that? In the era of social media, the documentation of everyday life has exploded as not just a hobby, but as a lifestyle, and it's all thanks to one guy, Bam Margera. If you've heard of the MTV show Jackass, then you should be familiar with the name Bam. If not, basically, the show is about a bunch of guys who get together and film themselves doing stupid shit and crazy stunts, and it is wildly entertaining. Jackass paved the way for not only reality television, but internet entertainment as well. They were the real deal, so real in fact that there was a lot of controversy over how it was even allowed to be on TV. Jackass is a staple in American pop culture, but what many people don't know is that the frontman, Johnny Knoxville, wasn't the main brains behind the operation. It was Bam Margera. Jackass's director, Jeff Tremaine actually got the inspiration for the show after watching a movie series Bam made in high school called CKY2K. Bam grew up skating and eventually turned pro. He took what he knew about making and watching skate videos and directed it towards shenanigans and what resulted was pure magic. Magic breaks the rules of what you thought was possible in this reality. That is precisely what Bam did by making a movie at home with his friends and later selling over one million copies of it. It expanded the realm of what was possible as a filmmaker. People like real, and there was no network reigns to abide by, so it was completely uncensored. Sort of like Girls Gone Wild, but for delinquents. For instance, there's a scene where Bam's friend Rab runs at full speed while simultaneously taking a shit. I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. <laughs> or the time when Bam and his crew stuffed a dummy full of newspaper and chucked it over a bridge onto oncoming traffic. That level of boldness, plus a handheld VHS camera, curated the template that people like David Dobrik and Supreme Patty based their entire content off of. When you want to be distracted from the world, some watch fantasy movies with fire-breathing dragons, others prefer a more realistic visual escape that isn't too far away from what they might see in their real life. Everybody's day, hell. Everything you see in Bam's early work couldn't be farther removed from Hollywood, but the entertainment value is still ever present. We all knew that one crazy ass kid in high school who would do random shit to make people laugh. Bam and his friends were that crazy kid. He was just smart enough to film it. The videos, the ideas, and the gritty execution. Bam is undoubtedly the first vlogger to go worldwide and is a trailblazer for filmmakers everywhere. You gotta give people their flowers when they can still smell them. Like, how did I end up making that shit? <laughs> 